scoop up an insanely large amount of that stuff and then come up here and just start placing it. Where do you want your little mountain section to live, right? How sharp and jaggedy do you want your mountain to be? How peaky, how many little areas do you want it to have? You know what I mean? I never like it to be such a crazy sharp peak at the top. Then we can come down here, scrape up some of these guys. Just like that. We don't need all this excess paint. Look at that. I just grabbed up enough that we could literally make a whole nother bit of a mountain right over here, right? Just by using the paint that was already on the canvas. And again, coming over there. Look at that. We can do this whole thing over and over and over again because there's so much paint right here, right? And you don't need all that extra paint. Otherwise, it's going to be too much paint. Look at these mountains, you guys. Those are going to be cool. Now, what do we always say? around Paint With Josh. It's all about the three P's of Paint With Josh. The amount of paint that we put on the brush. That's the first P. The amount of paint, right? Then the amount of pressure. How much am I pushing in order to get the mountain and the paint to look how I want it to look? All right? What's that last P? Does anybody know the last P? Again, if you're a brand new fan, you might not know the last P of Paint With Josh, which is okay, right? And we come straight down and we hit, we go over like that slide down this way, we get our whole little ridge, add a little bit more dark paint so we can tell this is a little ridgy side over there compared to our ridge along the top, right? So we would come up, all about where we're pulling down on these brushes. And these guys slide way down here, right? Taking up our whole canvas. That's why you only need a certain amount of paint. If you don't scrape it, you're gonna have way too much. All right, so we're taking the same brush. Maybe this guy came straight down and hit, straight down and hit, and came over this way. Just like our little guy here. But then at some point, we had something come down off of this mountain and cut in front and try to meet our way over here, right? So you have this real sheer slide right down through there. Okay, let's pull this guy. We'll come a little straight again. We're gonna come down and we're gonna hit, go down to the side. And then this, we're gonna take and we're just gonna slide off to this side. All right, you're gonna probably need a bit more paint by the time you get down here, just to help it stay nice and dark. Right? Help our brain with our, our little bits of directional swipes, kind of telling us where our mountain's going to sit. Right? Very cool. This big old sheer cliff. And depending on which way you pull yours out, depending on what it's going to look like. Now, let's go back up and let's mix up a little bit of color on our brush and our, our palette right here. Right? We've had that green. Let's get rid of this green. All this green and yellow nonsense over here. Throw that off to the side. Let's get a little bit of our white, a little bit of our sap green, and we're gonna come down here and make a bit of a shadowy color, right? We don't want it to be too bright, add a little bit of our darkness to it. So it's not overly bright, but we don't want it to be too dark either, right? Now, just like that, it's like an army green, kind of all these swipes and stripes through it. We'll come up here, I'm gonna grab this guy and go off of our shadowy side, which I'm imagining is gonna be right down in here. And look at how we just pull this guy down, right? very lightly depositing that roll of paint that's on our brush off of our knife, straight down to the depths, right? Now say all of our light's gonna come onto that side. We'll catch that. We got a little bit over here. We got some of our shadows off to the edge over here, right? It depends on what you make your little mountain edge look like, right? How do you want it to turn? Do you want it to come up, be a little crazier? down here and get bigger, right? How do you want it to be? Because that's how it's gonna be. It's all up to us. We get to decide what the look is gonna be like, the direction of everything, how sharp it all gets. We get to decide that, right? Now, say we came down a little bit and we hit that little edge. We start to roll this way. And if it came out a little bit further like that. Right, not every piece has to be as bright as the rest of the pieces, just like that. Looks like we took a whole chunk right out of this mountain. Now, let's come in here, grab up a bit more of our white, probably about two to three times the amount. A little sliver of that green color. So now we have an off-white, kind of very light greenish color that's gonna act as our snow, quote unquote, on top of these mountains. Just like that, I'm gonna grab up a little bit more. There we go. That way it's not pure white, and it's not the exact same greenery that it was before, right? Just like that. Pull it out straight, come in here, scrape up a little bit, 
And let's come off of this guy first. Right off of him, right? You just start dragging it down, letting it fall, letting it break, letting it come down there, catching some light. It gets very dark down here in the bottom, right? Not a lot of light will reach all the way down there. So maybe we grab up from this guy right along its edge, bounce it, slide it off. You don't have to do anything crazy. It's all about that pressure with our knife, right? With the right amount of pressure, have it slide off to the side. Now, I never like it to be such a straight up line either. So we're gonna come across little different areas, boom, little bits that are sliding out like that. Got those sheer drops down below. Then these guys come up here all crazily. Thank you for the gifts, guys. And they start sliding down just like that. Now we've got to sort of move the meat and box or it's going to get in our way, which is why it was over there to begin with. When we start doing these mountains down around the bottom, it uh, takes its toll on the old meat and box. There we go. All right, now let's come back up, scrape up a little bit more of that snowy color. We came down and came up over here and slid down in this direction. All right, all about how we're going to make it look where our light is catching, where we want it to be light, where we want it to be dark. Right here, there's a little bit of light trying to reach over the side. Maybe there's some down here as well. It's all going to turn into misty fogginess by the time that we go back and smash on it with our brush. All right, so we had a little touch, just a couple little baby bits right at the tip top. They weren't even fully lit. Just a few little pieces got caught right over the tip of that guy. Maybe just a touch. If we can get anything to come off the knife onto this guy right here. Just a baby bit. Right on the top. Just a little piece. Little piece off of the tip top of that guy. I like him. I like him. Little touchdown. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Thank you for that guy. Love you all. Maybe we came up a little bit crazier on this guy and then came out a little bit more, changed our whole angle of our mountain just by where we're putting the paint, how it's sliding its way down, where it's picking up the light, right? Very cool. Very cool, guys. So what does our buyer think? That's my question. It's too late to change it now, but <laughs> what does the buyer think about his painting? Mr. Ben B. I don't know how to say the last part of his uh, screen name. It's like Bjorn, Bjornsson or something. I don't know. I don't know what it says, so I've never said it. I just see the Ben bit. What does Ben think of this one? Ooh, man, that's so fire. Oh, Benjamin. I'm like, holy S mode at this point. This is so cool. Oh, it's funny. Let's see, love it so much, Morgan. Thank you, Morgan. Appreciate you. All right, let's come in here and do the last couple bits. Soften our stuff down, make our little bit of mistiness, right? by pulling on it. A couple little pulls and then we'll come back and smash it real hard, right? Come down like this, back up into the mountain, shrieking it, trying to take away slight little bits of texture and not doing it so hard that we're hitting all those details, right? We're not smushing all the little details of all these little breaks way back in the distance, right? We're just very lightly touching them, giving a little bit of softness to them. See how it almost looks like a like a broken heart of the mountain that we just ripped out. Heart of the mountain, guys! <laughs> Remember, you gotta start coming up with a title for this one. And we're gonna come over here, let's do the light side first, and that way we'll be able to drag some of our mistiness down around our darker side. All we're doing, just like a typewriter, we come up and grab a little bit, drag it down, right? That's all you gotta do. Come up, grab a little bit, drag it down, drag it down, drag it down. I'm pushing away from the little piece of wood on the canvas that's causing that line. I'm kind of dragging away from that guy, pushing it away with my hand behind the canvas, dabbing it in, little bits. Right, swiping up along the sides, making our mistiness, going up from this edge. Very cool. Woo, Nelly! Look at this, guys. Come off the side over here. So we got a little color, a little color on this guy. Man, Benjamin, this one came out good. So, uh, let me know how many birds are we putting in the portal, since this is a portal painting, and you purchased it. 
during the show. You not only get the spinny winny wheel, but you also get to add your family into your own painting. So, how many little birdies do we got flying around in the Ben household over there? How many birdies be flying? And while you are typing that in, I'm gonna go back and do my own family of birds down here flying over the mountain. Very cool.